Government missed its 2020 target at ensuring that 10% renewable energy was added to Ghana's electricity generation mix, having achieved only 0.8%. Secretary of the Association of Ghana Solar Industries, A.J. Nimboating, blamed the setback on policies and regulations which are rather stifling solar development in the country. Here's another report by George Queenie. Ghana relies primarily on hydro and thermal energy. Over the years, concerns of alternative energy sources have been raised. Renewable energy sources have been identified as one of the promising options for Ghana's energy security. In 2003, government was ambitious to increase the percentage of renewable energy in the country's electricity supply mix to 10% by 2020 under the Renewable Energy Development and Management Program, but missed the target. At a roundtable meeting of engineering, procurement and construction companies in solar energy, it was revealed that current policies and regulations are rather stifling the development of solar in Ghana. Currently in the CNI sector, among factories, industries, bulk consumers of electricity, if you're going to uh, install solar there, government has issues with it, which we feel it is not right. Stakeholders are concerned about the production of solar mini grid being limited to government led activities. So far, about five of our giants, we've seen them exit the market or are on their way exiting. And some have left to Liberia, some have left to Sierra Leone because of the situation in the system. If it continues like that, then it threatens over 700 jobs. And this must be of concern. Head of solar Jubali Bros, Samson Amanyo Zixin, explained solar is one of the surest mode of renewable energy and fighting global warming. Solar is a key part that has been uh, identified by the UNFCCC as uh, a key ingredient that we can use to reduce the global warming issues that are happening. Ghana's solar energy potential is estimated at 35 exajoules.